How, how do you feel in these first days, like a Barca player, uh, new partners, new club, uh, that first game against you? How do you feel? I feel good. Um, you know, I feel, I feel blessed that I'm here. You know, it's a blessing. So I really enjoyed my first week um, with amazing moments, amazing people, and amazing welcome. Uh, it was a little bit tough, of course, because you do a lot of interviews, a lot of uh, a lot of meetings, and but all nice things. And uh, I do it with a lot of energy and, and passion. So I really enjoyed it. Uh, so the first week been good, of course the game, uh, it was the first game I really enjoyed it. It was a little bit heavy because I only supposed to play 30 minutes and I did a couple of training days and then played maybe 50, 55, I don't know, but uh, I really enjoyed it. So the first week was, was, was nice. Did, did you know well the, the city, Barcelona, Memphis, uh, before your arrival to sign for Barca? Did I know the city? The city, yeah. Uh, not really, no. Um, I only heard great stories about it. Um, yeah, that it's beautiful, a lot of, you know, nice, nice people, nice restaurants, uh, the, you know, stuff like that. I heard it, like, so I was excited to come here and it's true. <laughs> it's really nice. At the moment, you are staying in, in a hotel, no, in Barcelona, yeah. I think. Uh, do you know where you would like to, to live? Uh, near the beach, in the center? I don't know, maybe if the job has recommended you any place? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We will, we will find a good place, you know, where I feel uh, free, where I feel safe and where I feel comfortable. But I don't know yet where that is. Um, talking about uh, Frankie, uh, I imagine that you have been speaking with, with him all these last months, no? About the club, about the city. What has he been explaining to you, Memphis? Maybe did he encourage you to, to close the deal or maybe to... Um, I, I, I didn't speak all the time with him and I didn't ask him too much questions, but yeah. of course I asked how it was there and uh, he only told me positive things. and. Um, yeah, the way they, for me, the most important thing is, is of course, it's uh, the big club and the way we want to play football. Um, all the all the things outside, it's it's a bonus, you know. But to to come to a place like this with with the beautiful history and beautiful way of of playing football, that's that's for me uh, fantastic, and that was the main goal why I why I went. Yeah. Well, and, and about Frankie too, what do you think about his performance last season, about his growth, his improvement, no? His, his, do you think yeah, he's, he's ready to, to be one of the leaders of, of this person? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think he's one of the, the best midfielders in the world uh, at such a young age. Uh, yeah, he's doing up experience. He played his first tournament with the national team also. So, you know, he. He will become better and better, you know. So I really enjoyed like training with him, and uh, I think he he have a very important role in this team. We saw you really fit and strong last day against uh, Girona. I don't know, maybe if you have been training during your your holidays or just your genetic. Could you explain us maybe if you follow an, an special diet during your holidays or if you have no, I, I, been training a lot? I don't know. I really had to take some days off in my in my vacation because it uh, it was a long time that we didn't have like a, a vacation because of the the COVID and everything. Um, so I had to take a, a total total break from football. Um, so now I feel fresh to come to come back in my shape again. But it will take you know some some maybe two weeks or I don't know, but. I'm training hard and the game during the game I was tired. Maybe maybe the people don't see it because I I wanted to, to play, I wanted to make the runs and things like that, but my legs were a little bit heavy. Uh, but I enjoyed the moment so yeah, it doesn't take me long to, to be in shape. But it's true that you have a physiognomy you now physically you are you seem really strong. I don't know maybe I think apart it's from, I think apart it's, from the training day if you do uh, another exercise by your own? No, I think it's genetics. Um, 
when I was young, I was in the gym, but now I, for the last years, I don't go too much uh, to the gym because I grow very fast and I don't want to to be big, you know. So this is pure, uh, I think, genetics, and you know, I have to combine that with uh, with pace and with technique. I understand. You talked about it in your presentation, but let me ask you about your purposes, no? your aims for this season at the collective and personal level, Memphis. Um, yeah, winning trophies. I come to this club to win trophies, so that's uh, clear. And uh, I try to, to have a role uh, in, in, in winning that, you know, in, in accomplishing that. So wherever I can help the team, uh, you know, it makes me satisfied to help the team at such a big club and, and, a, and a great team. So that's for me to go, to win the trophies and, and yeah, we will see how that goes, where, what, what, what happened with, with my role, but uh, I'm here to, to fight for the team and to enjoy the, 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 the beautiful game. What can uh, Barcelona supporters, ex can ex they can expect from you, maybe those who don't know you very much? Uh, I try to create, I try to create a lot of danger. I try to be direct, so the, the, the shortest way to the goal, but yeah, I try to be creative and uh, and what I say, I love the way Barcelona plays, so I try to settle in in, the, in that system, in that way of thinking as soon as possible and uh, yeah, I think they, I think they, they, they kind of know what my qualities are and you know, I'm here to, to show it. In, in Lyon, you were the, the leader, the, the captain, uh, your influence was really high. Do you think that your role may change in Barcelona? I don't know, I try to, what I say, like, win trophies that is about like giving the team some strength and uh, if that's what goals and assists and, and working for the team, uh, where, wherever way it is, you know, I come here with, with that quality that I have, so I, I try to to give that to the team and then we will see what type uh, you know you cannot compare Lyon with Barcelona also so it's uh, yeah you cannot compare the two and, and this will be a new season for me in a new team. You thought that for you Messi is the best without doubt no? Uh, your dream you dream about sharing the, the attack line with, with Messi with him how, how you think your, your association will be? Well, that will be amazing, I think, that uh, if I have the possibility to play with him, you know, um, he have all the qualities and what the team needs, so you try to try to build around that and, and, and yeah, what I say, whatever the team needs from, from the other players also, you, uh, you have so much talent here in this team, um, so for me that's... Uh, it will be amazing if he, you know, if I can play with him and, and win trophies. That will be a big dream. And can the, the Barca supporters too imagine an attack line with you, Messi, and, and Aguero, or you three are too similar to, to play together? Maybe, or what do you think about that? Uh, we have so many, so many attackers, but we are different, in my opinion. Like, I have different qualities than 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 Kuhn or. You know, or whatever. Like, I don't think they are similar, but let's see. I don't know. Maybe if, if you have received uh, any message from Messi since your sign congratulating you, maybe. No, or... no, no, no. Uh, no. Not yet. Okay. No. He'll have to. I think. I think he's enjoying <laughs> the trophy. You know, he just yeah, of course. won the trophy, and uh, that's amazing for him. So everybody is happy for him. Uh, your your debut as a as a professional player was with Philip Cucu as manager. Uh, Bangal brought you to Manchester. Uh, Kuman was very important for you too in the national team. Now Frank de Boer is the, is the manager of the Dutch team too. You think you were maybe predestined to play for Barcelona one day with all this information of your past? Yeah, but you know it's uh, maybe it's also not hard because you know a lot of. These these good coaches, they yeah, they have the his, also in history in, in Barcelona. So, uh, but yeah, now it's not for everyone to play here. So I'm feeling very, very happy about uh, yeah about this decision. 
for me and the, and the club and, and everybody involved. So they they also have like a, a a type of mentality to to play in a way that you know the fans also like and that's what I like as well because in the end like they want to be entertained and they want to see good football. Of course we have to win, but with good football that will be better. Uh, Kuman, how important has he been for for your career in this? Very, he had a big, uh, big impact in in some important years, like in my career, because you know, 25, 26, uh, you know, you, yeah, you really get shaped as a player, I think, also, and uh, he did that with me in the national team. He changed my role for the national team. He made me very important. Gave me the confidence. Uh, yeah, and now he wanted me here in Barcelona, so. Yeah, a huge impact, uh, and I'm happy with uh, with the work together. Because you told that you uh, would have signed for Barcelona even if he had been sacked. No, uh, how changed your your stay in Barcelona with his continuity? Sorry. How what? How how changes your stay in Barcelona with the continuity of Kuman in, in the bench? I mean, instead of of if he. Oh. Yeah, of course. The, he, I mean, he. I know him, so in the training, he, you know, it's easy to adapt. I, I, I kind of know what he expects from me. Uh, he put the, the bar very high for me, and um, yeah, I we have done that in the past, so I kind of know know some some things the way he works. So that is, uh, yeah, that's that's e not easy, but it's a it's a good thing for me because I'm used to that. So it's different. Let me ask you about your, about your tattoos, Memphis. What they mean for you? Do you remember which was the, the first one? Yeah, my first one was my name on my arm, very big. <laughs> As if I didn't know my name, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some, some, some tattoos have like big meanings, and some others are just for art, because I love art, and yeah. I express myself through art or music, so there are different, different uh, meanings, but I love tattoos. Maybe the, the one with a lion on your shoulder is yeah, the, the lion. most famous, no? Maybe the most mediatic, no? For the, uh, media. for, for the people, for the people. Yeah, for the course. people, of course, not for you, maybe. Um, yeah, that one really gave me an image, you know. People really like it and stuff like that. Um, but I have some personal ones for my family, you know, uh, that I really like as well. Another special, another special thing that defines you is the way you celebrate the, the goals. No? When did you start and, and using that celebration and what do you want to say with it? Okay, so I think it was 2017. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to make a long story very short because it's, 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 yeah, it's kind of deep. But, uh, <laughs> so I, I started a lot from the bench and I, and I scored a lot of goals. Uh, in, in, in big games, you know, in, in the big four games, you know, against PSG, Marseille and all these clubs and uh, I, I don't know, I was just feeling something and I was putting the fingers in my ears, one, because I, I didn't agree with the decision and two, it was um, for me, I realized like, oh, I have to focus on myself, so if you focus on yourself and, and, and close your eyes, it's like a tunnel vision, you know, and the, the, then it doesn't matter what, what information comes. If it's too much information in your head, maybe you don't play free. And, um, and then I combinated that with uh, a foundation I have in Ghana for blind and deaf children. So, you know, it's, it's for the kids there as well. They love it. Uh, they all do the celebration and then it start to be like a, a thing and, and, and a lot of children over the world and even football players, they start using the celebration and for everybody I think it's a different meaning. But for me it's something positive that I, that I live by. So if I do that, if I play my game like that, I, I become the best version of myself every game. If I yeah, add too much information in my head and, 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 and opinions about uh, I don't have to do that, I have to do that, then maybe I become a different football player. So it's a very important signature celebration. And 
you know, it became it became famous. I have a clothing line with the, with the brand with the logo, so it's it's fun. Okay, two more questions and we we'll finish. Um, maybe we have the feeling that you are like a, a rebel, not rebel person because of your appearance and, and what we see, you know, the people with knowing you. Mm -hmm. No, you think it's a wrong judge. Uh, but re I feel like rebel is, is, is often used as a, a bad term, yeah. but sometimes it That's can be used as a, as a good term, you know. Uh, sometimes if, you, if you're a rebel in the pitch, it can bring something extra and, and you will win the game. Like uh, Luis Suarez, he, he wins so many games and he scores so many goals, not because he's the, the, the sweetest, nicest person in the, in the field, you know. Um, but. Maybe with my appearance, and then people get to know me, and they know, and they see that I'm, you know, nice like everyone else, and uh, it's just maybe that I'm a little bit different in the way I express myself, or listen to music, or I make music. Maybe that's like uh, defined as 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 misunderstood or different. But rebel, I don't. Me, I don't really care if 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 that's the name I go by, or you know. People, um, people get like a, a feeling with me and a kind of like a relationship, and they they love it or they don't like it, and yeah, that's kind of what it is, and yeah. Also about music, you told. Uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, one of your passions, no? That it's music. One of your hits, No Love, has more than 15 million viewers on YouTube. Mm. What means the music for you? Listening to music, m listening to music is like a, it's very important before the games, just in regular life, you know, if I, I was eating yesterday some tapas and I was listening to Spanish music, like, that's like life for me, uh, but then when I'm in the studio, I can make music, it's like a therapy, you know, you know, get my mind a little bit off football for, for a couple hours and then I can refocus the next day. So it's like a, it's like a marriage, you know, for me. Have you ever thought about dedicated uh, exclusively to music? Sorry. Uh, have you ever thought about dedicating yourself exclusively to oh. music as a uh, job? Or? Of course, I've these questions <laughs> be coming to me a long time. But for me, like football is my main goal, objective. Every day, I'm in, I'm working so hard. I put so many hours in in the craft and. It brought me very, very far to where I am right now, so that's my main goal, main goal, main focus, and we will see after that. For for the moment, I just have fun with it. Maybe you'll find the, the inspiration for a new song if you win the, the Champions League. Or? Oof, that would be that would be very good, a very big <laughs> inspiration if you win the Champions League. I will might maybe write a song about it. Yeah, it's a promise or not? No, it's not a promise. I said maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you very much, Memphis. Nice thank to you. meet you. Thank Good you for to your talk time. to you. Okay.